We're just doing a percolation test, so we're just going to test the uh, infiltration of the soil. Uh, the current homeowner is looking to uh, build a, a soakaway and a pond and have some uh, natural drainage on the site. Uh, so in order, order to, to, to see how effective that's going to be, we just need to do some percolation testing, uh, which is, is basically measuring how long it takes for the soil to infiltrate water. Yeah, out of all the site surveys I've done, it's probably only rained on about five of them. Right. So, Just one of the five, is it? Yeah, probably, wow. yeah, yeah. And I've, I've, I've done like about 200, so... Wow. What are we doing now, Rhys? Uh, I'm just uh, measuring the depth of this hole which has been dug, and I've just marked my measurements on there, which is the 75% uh, fullness level, the 50% fullness level, and the 25% uh, fullness level. I'm just going to put some electric tape on those markers, what I've just set out. So then when this hole gets filled with water, the water level will obviously start up high. And once it infiltrates down through the ground, it will get to these tape measures, what I'm going to attach to this pole. And then we can time how long that's taken. Perfect. What are we doing now, Reece? I'm just going to measure the width of the hole, which will help calculate the infiltration rate. Uh, obviously, because it's, it's not a it's not a square 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter, millimeter hole, it's it's a bit rough. So if I just get the dimensions of it, it'll help calculate the infiltration rate. <laughs> uh, now that that's secure, the next step is to put the water in the uh, in the ditch. Yeah, so we're just uh, filling up this uh, ditch, uh, ready to start the uh, percolation test. So we're just timing the uh, time it takes now for this uh, ditch, what's just been uh, filled in with water, to drain down. And we're just going to time uh, how long it takes to reach the 75% uh, level, which I've already marked on the uh, pole here, and the 50% water fullness level, and then the 25% water fullness level. Uh, so every time, uh, obviously the water's infiltrating down now, and shortly, or it might take a while, we don't know, it all depends on the geology of this particular area. But once it infiltrates down, we'll see the blue marker, which, I've, uh, which, which represents the 75% fullness marker. These sort of percolation tests, they tend to, it, it completely varies on the underlying geology. Uh, obviously, we're just approaching the, approaching the 10 minute mark, and it still hasn't infiltrated down to the 75% fullness marker yet. Um, it just completely depends on the geology. If it's quite a chalky geology, um, then it will be fairly quick because it's quite a, a porous rock. Uh, but if you've got formations like clay, um, it can take quite quite a bit of time. Obviously, if you do have a clay geology type, then going for like a natural drainage infiltration approach might not be the best solution because you know you're not it, it it's not going to infiltrate through the ground quickly enough so approximately 15 minutes and not much has yet grown yeah so is it easier for water to penetrate in like dry conditions or is it better if it's a bit wet um i mean the common sort of like misconception is people always think that if you've got like a dry dry soil in it and it hasn't rained in ages uh, it'll actually infiltrate better but it's actually incorrect sort of like wet damp soil often infiltrates much better more efficiently and quicker than if the soil is dry um, what, what happens quite a lot when, it, when, when the soil is dry um, it'll just act, act like an impermeable surface where it'll rain and it'll actually just run off as surface water as opposed to infiltrate through um, which can cause problems like surface water so here we still are, um, it's just infiltrated down to the first marker which is the 75% fullness marker and the time it has taken to get to this level is uh, 31 minutes. Maybe there's a bit of stagnant water there as well. Maybe that's why this is uh, taking a little bit of time maybe. Um, so it's taken approximately two hours to drain to a 50% fullness marker, um, it is taking its time. Uh, that's most likely because of the underlying geology of the site. Um, might have a bit of clay, uh, which obviously limits infiltration. 
Right, so the uh, water level has dropped to the 25% uh, capacity level marker now. Uh, we are at 3 hours 42 minutes. Would you say this is normal for a uh, water cost to take this long? Um, I honestly can't answer that. It's, it, it, it just depends on the geology, doesn't it? So we're just approaching um, the water level is about to infiltrate and we're just waiting for it to completely drain away out of the uh, ditch. Um, up until this moment it, the timer is on 6 hours and 17 minutes. It took 31 minutes to reach the top marker there, the 75% fullness marker. It took an hour and 58 minutes to reach the 50% marker and it took 3 hours 42 minutes to reach the bottom 25% fullness marker. We're now just waiting for the ditch to completely drain and then we'll restart the test again and fill it up to here. However, we're on 6 hours 17 minutes now and this ditch is still yet to drain away completely. Usually for any precalation test which lasts over 16 which lasts over 6 hours to drain away, they tend to fail. So in this case we might have to ditch this one and say it would fail regardless. Which is why you always do a few ditches when you're doing pre-collation tests around the site so you can get a difference and see how it varies. We've actually dug a ditch down the bottom section of the site here which is draining away much quicker. Um, uh, the last test on the ditch at the bottom took 1 hour 24 minutes to drain away completely and that was on test 1 and that's currently undergoing test 2.